Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Miss Lops here. I want to talk to you about making circle graphs today. Um, you may have made these earlier and you probably did. You might have called them pie charts when you were younger, but today we're going to review how to make a circle graph. Okay, circle graphs are great for um, showing relative sizes because it's easy to see at a glance what is most liked or what is least liked or what has the most relative to the rest of the shape of the graph. So that helps us out a lot. Um, I have a couple of examples. The first one I'm going to work for you and the next one I'm going to ask you to pause the video so you can try it out yourself and um, then I'll reveal how to work it. So um, this first example is favorite movie type. So we have uh, kids that have been asked what their favorite movie type was and they fell into one of five categories, comedy, action, romance, drama, or sci-fi. And we total up each of the responses. You can see each response in each category and they total 20 people were in the survey, okay? 20 students. And so the first thing we need to do, I've, I've got the data table, but I've added some extra rows. And these rows will help us do our calculations so that we can complete our circle graph. So the first row, is where I'm gonna put percentages for each category, what percentage of the whole is that number. So for example, I'm gonna put a percentage symbol right here, and I'm gonna find out what percentage four is of our total of 20. So to do that, I would take four, divide it by 20, and multiply it by 100. Okay, you should know how to do this. That's going to be 20% when I do that calculation. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with each of these. So five, that's our part, our whole is 20. So five divided by 20 times 100 is going to give me 25%. And I can do the same thing with six. Six divided by 20 times 100 is going to give me 30%, right? And, um, this is one divided by 20. I'm going to work out to 5% for that one. And this again is going to be 20% because we figured that out right here. That's 20% and that's four people. So that's 20%. And as I look across here, these percentages added up together should equal 100%, right? Because it's 100% of our whole. So 20 plus 25 is going to give us 45 plus 30 is 75 plus five is 80, plus 20 is 100%, okay? So perfect, that worked out really well. So now we want to graph each of these percentages on our circle and have it take up the appropriate degrees on our circle. So we wanna make sure that we remember how many degrees are in a circle. There's 360 degrees, right? And so we would take this four divided by 20, okay? And we would multiply it by 30, 360. So we have our four divided by 20, and we would multiply it by our 360 degrees, okay? That's gonna get a, give us 72 degrees, okay? And we would do the same thing here, times 360. And that's gonna give us 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. And this one works out to be 108 degrees. And 5% of 360 is, um, what is it? It's 18 degrees. And again, our 20% is gonna be 72 again. And as we add these across, they should total our full circle, okay? Now, the one thing that I, that I forgot to include in our packet that I want you to know that I'm loading on Google Classroom for you is I forgot a protractor. And I did, not have, um, I did not have a plastic one here at my house either. So I printed one and I'm going to use it to create um, the degrees of my circle. So the first, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of make my, my center and my first line. And then from there, I wanna go 72 degrees. So I'm gonna line up my protractor and I'm going to put in my 72 degrees. Okay, it's right about there, roughly. So 
So I draw my line. And that particular is comedy, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna draw my next one. So my next one is 90 degrees and I can take 72 and add 90 to it, which gives me 162, right? And I can make my next mark. So right here, I'm gonna put my protractor in the same place and I'm gonna go from my 72, I'm gonna add 90 to that over to 162. And that, from here to here is going to be my action. Okay, and my romance is going to be the 108 degrees. So from 162, I'm gonna add 108. And that's gonna be my romance section. So 162, right, is, is where this is. That's how many degrees that is. And I'm gonna add 108 degrees to that. So, I'm gonna get 270 degrees. That's gonna be straight down here. So I can look at that as right here. I should use a different color for that. So when I think about 270 degrees, if I start here, if this is zero, that means I'm going three quarters of the way around my circle. So this right here, is going to be our romance, right? And then our drama is 18 degrees. So for from 270 plus 18, I'm gonna make my next mark at 288 degrees. So if I'm at 270 right here, that's just right here. I'm gonna add 18 degrees. So I'm gonna go here and then eight more. So, and I know my pens are a little bit large for this picture. So here's uh, drama. And then my last section, let's see, what color haven't I used? Let's try an orange. My last section is going to be sci-fi. And I'm gonna go ahead and color these in a little bit for us so you can see them a little bit better. And Let's see, action. Okay, and romance is right here. If you'll notice, our circle graph has a title, favorite movie type, so you wanna be sure you title your graph and you make sure you put information on it so that people can use it to find details that they might need for to answer their questions. So on our graph, I might include the, um, the percentage. So I might say that this is 5% and the sci-fi was 20 and the comedy was 20. And the action was 25%, right? And our romance was 30%. Okay, so this is kind of the steps you go through to make a circle graph. I'm gonna provide us with another problem in just a minute, and then I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and uh, try it on your own. Okay guys, so here's our second example um, where I interviewed uh, 30 students and I asked them what their favorite pet was and these are, this is the set of data that they gave me. 
So what I would like for you to do is use the process that I used in the first example to um, find the proportion of the circle that each of these categories for pets represents. And so if you pause the video right now, then when you restart it, I'm gonna go ahead and work it for you. But hopefully you will work it on your own first. Okay, thanks. Pause the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an, a couple more rows. I'm gonna make one row for my percentage calculation and one row to work with the degrees of my circle, okay? And I know in the end, they're all gonna add up to, in the first row, they need to add up to 100%, and in the second row, they need to add up to um, 360 degrees. So here, my first row is my percentage. So I'm gonna take three and divide it by 30 and multiply it by 100. Well, three divided by 30 is gonna be 0.1, multiplying that by 100 is going to be uh, 10%. So I know this is gonna be 10%. Um, when I do the same kind of calculation with my dogs, that's going to be 50%. And when I do my calculation with my horses, that's going to be 20%. And when I do my calculation with my birds, it's gonna be 20%. These should all add up to 100%. So let's see how I did. I've got 10 plus 50 is 60, plus 20 is 80, plus 20 is 100%. So that's good, that's what's supposed to happen, right? And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some calculations for um, the degrees of my circle. So I'm gonna go three divided by 30 and I have to multiply that by my 360 degrees, okay? So I have my 0.1 times uh, 360, which is just gonna give me 36, okay? And then I have, um, uh, this is gonna be, 180 and this is going to be 72 and 72 and when I add all those up 72 plus 72 plus 180 plus 36 I should get 360 okay and so now I'm going to take my protractor just like you should because you have it you can download it it's on our assignment and I'm gonna make my zero mark for my circle where my circle begins, that's a zero, right? And my first measurement is gonna be 36 degrees, so that's gonna be right about here. And then <clears throat> I'm going to add 72 to that. So I can turn my protractor, so my zero is now there, and just go to 72, or I could add 72 to my 36. Either way, it's gonna work fine. Oh, I forgot my 180, sorry. I'm gonna add my 180 to that, so. That's gonna be clear over here, sorry. So this is cats, and that's 10%, and this is dogs, and that's 50%. And then we have our, um, um, let me try to draw our line from the center out. So we have, that's where we start at zero. Whoops, there's our cats. Here's our dogs, right? And then our birds, we need 72 degrees, so I could move my protractor around to there and I can go to 72. And then the remainder, draw from my center out. The remainder should also be 72, and it's pretty darn close. This is a bit of a rough drawing, right? So I have, I need to put a title on my graph. So this is favorite pets. And I should put a little bit more information on my graph. So this is horses. And they were 20%. And this is birds. And they were 20%. And um, it would also help my viewer to color my data a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna make my dogs blue. Because it just visually helps to see your graph. And anytime you look at a pie chart, you will always see they've got, there's different sections are colored so that you can see how they're separated. Okay. And my cats, I'll make orange. 
like that. And horses, I'll make green. Okay, and birds will make pink. There we go, just like that. Okay, and so what I'd like for you to do is hopefully this helped you uh, remember a little bit about making these kinds of graphs and that you can use this information as you complete the assignment for this section. Um, if you have any questions, please come to our class meeting and we can talk about it. Okay, thanks. Bye.